everything It's clear to see the time hasn't changed a thing It's very deep inside me but I feel there's something you should know mm. Hello viewers and welcome to another video This is part 4 of some previous video So if you guys haven't watched those as yet I advise you guys to watch those before you continue watching this video Now Let's let's let us continue with the instructions. They say that we must generate a voter's list. The report should be a list of the voter's name, date of birth, and ID number only. The list should be grouped by police station and sorted by last name. The title of the report should contain the date. The report should have a summary with the count for each polling station and an overall count of the number of voters. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to go into our report. So now all we're going to do now, we're going to use our voters list to create the report. Because as you can see, the voters list would be the, the vote, valid voters would be the persons who would vote, and as well as it already had the voters ID, the first name, the last name, and the station code of each person is already. So we're just going to use that to generate the list. And ensure that it's highlighted and click on create and this report to create a basic report of the data in the current query or table to which you can add features such as groups or totals. So now Apologize for this taking so long. Anyways, it's open. So as you can see now, generate automatically generate the report. So first thing we're going to do is remove the unnecessary things like the address and the felon status. Now it already has the data already, so I already clear that as well. We have included the voter's ID first in the last name and station name. And now in case it took group on by station name. So we're going to add a group, group by station name. And then add sort and sort by last name. So you can see now the, the, the last name is organized in alphabetical order from A to Z, from ascending to descending order and the voters are grouped on by the polling station or the station they are at so now we're going to add the counts so we're going to save this as report and then go into design view You see these things that are functions in a report that use as um to count a number of things based on which area of the page is on. So as you can see, it's cool. You can see that this is already counting the overall number of voters or records into the report. So you can see there's are indeed eleven persons there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add a count for each polling station. We want that the count appears underneath the voters here. So what we're going to do now, we're going to add a putter section for the um the group the grouping of each stolen polling station. So to do this now, we're going to go into the design view and where we see station name as group and station name. We're going to click on more and then we're going to look for without a footer section. And change that to with a footer section. So now, as you can see, now there's a footer section there. So, what we're going to do now is just copy this function, place it here, just undo that, copy this.
and paste it right here and inline it with this. So as you can see now, right under each groupings, we notice that the um the count is there. Indeed, there's two persons in Arden, one in Church of Santiago, two in Mount Olympus, um one in Olaba, and three in St. James. And the total is eleven. So now we want to, to display something like number of voters here to each polling station and the overall down here. So what we're going to do now, we're going to design view and add labels to this. So now we're going to have a label here and put number of voters. Pull this up a little bit so we can have, have more space. And then now we're going to add a label here again and put overall number of voters and put the label here and there we go should display, display a number of voters for each polling station here so it, as you can see it doesn't displays it so number of voters at each polling station and this is the overall number of voters. So therefore, we're done with all the criteria. So finally, what I'm going to do now is just change the layout of this um, report. So, because I don't really like the style of it, so I'm just going to go into auto format and look for a style that seems more presentable than this. And there we go. This looks more presentable. So all I'm going to do now is going to do design view and change the title. And color. And make this. Change the voters of JBT and change this color. And there we go. So the report is now complete, and therefore we're finished with database. So thank you guys for watching this. Um, we should have the data bird. So what I did, um, I copied data bird and put it into the valid waters. I just changed the um. I change the the design view and add DLB to it. And now in the report now I'm just gonna add data bird to it. What I'm going to do now is going to design view and add existing fields pull DLB over to it And here we go. So now I'm just going to go back into layer view.
and change it again. Make adjustments once more. And there we go, report is finished finally. So yes, I stand for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment if there's any questions that I may not answered have answered for you guys. So bye.